Hello, gamers. Good, good, good gamers. Hold on, I need a message back. This person at my work is gonna make me cry. <laughs> I did not plan that at all, but that was kind of fire. That that was kind of fire, wasn't it? That was that was fire. Um, the bubbles and shit. Oh my god, I don't want to have to. I, this is literally. I'm off work, but there's this person messaging me, and I'm like, dude. Ugh. Anyway. I'm ending it there. I'm fucking closing that out. I quit kill me or something, you know? Anyway, what is up, Absent, absent with the first poggers? Hello, hello, Hunter. Hello, Guma. Hello, Rue. Hello, Laurel. Hello, Yum Ravo. Hello, Anacrim. Hello, Jared. Hello, um, Rue again. You got two hellos, um, because I read it twice. But hello, first time chatters. Hello, welcome in, Rue and Yum. Hello, long time or not I lied. It's not long time, no see. It is um it is welcome in for the first time or at least first time chatting um how's everyone doing today rue i did say you're right i'm fucking gaming but what's up how are we doing are we excited for today's chat presents um the cat in the background so cute here are all of them and oh many more there they are you are you, those are those are i collect oh my my army grows you know occasionally when i'm sad i'll just sleep there anyway um devek what is also up hello hello i'm doing okay how are you i'm doing streamers okay i'm always nervous before these trust me i i'm um, also want to throw up i had to prepare this stream like 30 minutes in advance because every minute of my day i feel like i'm doing something and i think i'm gonna explode from stress but i'm fine in caveation what is up i'm so ready speaking of readies i do have only five um, just to be completely transparent, I only have five submissions. Uh, so if, if you did not submit to the Google Doc, I will not know that you are doing a presentation today. Um, uh, so I see Eclipse is ready today, Nightwing has a presentation, Saviatins has a presentation, Hunter has a presentation, and then one other person who didn't put their name, but they're doing a cool one. So, we shall see, we shall see. I don't even have Lord. I'm just nervous. No, you're totally fine. If you'd like to support streamers, with the buy a plush for the throne. Oh my goodness. Rue, thank you so much for the follow. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you're having a good time, or at least I, I hope you are. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Yes. And Kismet, what's up, Kismet? How are you? But yeah, rough day today, but we're about to have a banging show, right, chat? It's gonna be all about you, me, and the ideas that we think with our quirky little brain on sub sequels and prequels that probably shouldn't exist, but we're gonna make them exist anyway. Like my example. Um, I'm gonna, I think ugh, my friend, uh, my friend Nick was writing a fanfic based on the sh movie Cars. And I was gonna use my friend's example where I was like, oh, 
another sequel to the show Friends would be enemies where they all fall off and they all become drug addicts and drug dealers and kill people and and Joe is known as is, is a mafia man known as Big Joe in the streets and Little Joe in the sheets um, but I was thinking also car sequel where secretly Mr. Lightning McQueen and his and his rune tootin partner had a secret gay love affair that could have been a cool sequel. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really sick. I hope you feel well or better, Kismet. So host some of the chat and it's, and it's not really crowded. I like it. Yes, 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 yes. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I do these events. I try every other week, um, unless I'm suffering mentally. But no matter, the show shall go on. I am currently waiting for you goobers in the Discord. Um, for some reason, though, the screen is not popping up. Why, why it no pop up? Screen share. Oh, I know why. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. There it is, bam. So I am alone in live, but soon five people will be presenting their presentations on movies, shows, or series that should exist. Prequels or sequels, but they don't currently exist. And so we're going to get a run through of everyone's cool ideas of a sequel or prequel. I think it's going to be fun. It's all it's all for fun. All jokes and everything. Not serious skits. Um, but as quirky as you can get a movie sequel or prequel. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. I see that our first gamer is Hunter. Hunter, who is going to present. Let me check just so I am aware of what's going on. Okay, I don't think I know this movie, so this will be interesting. This will be interesting. I'm excited. Are we excited? Are we ready? Are we ready? Everyone wake up. Gamers, wake up. It's time to wake up and smell the ashes. And Ren, hello. Should I wait a little bit? I think I might wait a little bit. Because I, I start my stream super rapidly, you know? Like, less than 10 minutes in, I go. So ready? Are we ready? We're gaming? We're ready to present? Good. Good, good, good. And Septary, hello! I think some people are still um, slowly coming in. So I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes before we're getting started. Yeah, oh my god, 20 minutes even. I'm so used to like immediately starting stream because I feel like if I don't start it quickly, people are gonna leave. But yeah, we're just gonna hang out. I think I'm gonna go through maybe one of my other movie sequel ideas. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying maybe another one. So let me set the scene, right? A sequel to the flushed away movie all right except wait hold on let me make sure no one did a sequel to the flushed away movie okay no 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 yeah someone did okay I'm lying just kidding this is sequel to the show the office all right imagine this let me set the scene I haven't finished this show actually, but let's start around season three, right? Okay. Everyone loses their job. They're bankrupt. They're trying to find a way to get by. The camaraderie that they once felt for their fellow coworkers is gone. They're all living their individual lives. But you know what finally brings them back together again? Where they can experience the family that they once had? A zombie apocalypse. That's right. The Office. But the walking dead manager of the office, that's right. One of them, our beloved manager of the office, was the first to begin the apocalypse. As you can imagine, as they are usually the source of the problems in the show. First biting Dwight, who surprisingly is unaffected by the zombie virus which continues on to them, the team working together to escape the zombie apocalypse, survive, in some way find a cure for Dwight, who has now grown an impossible to contain God complex from this um, inability to not get infected by the virus. Of course, Dwight is immune, of course. Um, as for Pam, uh, Pam dies in season one. Pam dies in season one. I Sorry to jump ahead a little bit. Pam dies in season one, which then causes um, our good old friend John, I think that's his name, to fall off into a craziness and actually become the villain of the show who wants everyone 
to become ten hey come on fuck you man i need to add some 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 interesting shit okay listen there has to be a villain besides the zombies okay otherwise where's your where is your antagonist if not just a fucked up crazy person who lost their wife you know What's up, Ryan? That's fucked up killing Pam, Jade. I'm sorry. What if I wanted John for myself, okay? Why can't I have a fucking happy ending? I'm I'm self-inserting myself into this office zombie apocalypse show, and I get with John. Fuck. Fine, you caught me in my bluff. I'm self-inserting right now. I don't know his actual name. I think it's John. I haven't watched the show in a bit. Jim. Jim, but it's his alternate ego, John. Uh, and surprise, Pam that died in season one is actually called, it was Spam, the other alternate ego. Um, and so none of them are really dead. Would be a fire villain, exactly, and he'd be so hot in it. So that's why I'm self-inserting myself into this movie that doesn't exist, the sequel to The Office, where me and John can be together forever. Very parasocial of you? Yes. Like chatter like streamer, you know? The apple does not fall off far off the tree. Now, what's up now? What is my favorite band? The... I was gonna fuck. The weekend doesn't count. He's just on his own. But um, I don't know if I have a favorite band. I'm not a bandish person. Um, and Lyra, what's up, I, Lyra? Hello. His real name's John, so you weren't wrong. I was close. I was close. I was thinking. About, I was talking about the actors. You know, come on. You know, actor John and show office named Jim. Lots of J names. Um, J names are the superior name, by the way. But um. Yeah. What's your favorite album from the weekend? Probably the earlier ones. I can't get around the newer ones. I've tried so hard. I've tried. Or like the Smiths, I've been really into it. Isn't there like a, there's like a TikTok sound where it's like, I like the Smiths. You like the Smiths? I like the Smiths. I forget how it goes though. Um, but I know a lot of people really like the Smiths. Um, ah, I have a band. I know you do, Kismet. I know you do. <laughs> yeah, I all I know is TikTok fucking sounds. That's how my brain works. If it's not a meme, I'm not gonna know what the fuck it is. And that's why I didn't know fucking Jim's name. Her favorite band will be the Cage the Elephant once I show her them. What? Cage the Elephant. I'm pretty sure I recognize that. Also, I'm not easily swayed by others. I wonder if I can listen to it real quick. Cage the Elephant. I think I have heard them before. They look quirky. Ain't no rest for the wicked. That's probably a mustard. No, sorry. No. I mean, I'll maybe give it a chance later. I'm very picky. I'm a very picky music um, ingester, digester, you know? Mickey Darling, great guys. Mickey Darling. Interesting. I've actually never heard of those. I have vaguely heard of Cage the Elephant. Why did they cage the elephant, though? Can you cage the elephant though? I don't know if you can really cage the elephant. Like the, once the elephant's in the room, you know what I'm saying? Can you really put it back in the cage? It's it's gonna stay in the room. Until you point out the elephant in the room, he gets shy, elephant leaves, um, but you can still see the rig it's havoc in that room. You know what I'm saying? You can't really get away from the elephant in the room, even if you put it in a cage. It just doesn't work that way, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is happening here, Snafu? Well, don't worry about it. Uh, we're just chilling, but when to, for everyone to get in before we start the show. Yes, take notes, take notes, you know? Listen to Trouble? Listen to Trouble? You know, it is real big trouble once, the, you know, the elephant in the room gets out of the cage. That's trouble. Caging the elephant is trouble. Trouble, cage the elephant. And nicotine stains? Damn. That's some real, that's some real, I saw her cross the bar. She sparkled in that dim dusk light that you'd only find at a bar at the back alley. <laughs> I need to stop. Um, let's be happy. Nothing like that, no? Hey, it's a guilty pleasure? Come on, Kismet. No more nicotine stains, okay? And in ethereal, what is up? I listen to music, not lyrics. Sometimes that leads to people judging my music takes. I I have a weird dissociation. I have to I have to like the beat, and then the lyrics come kind of secondary if the beat is goes hard. Which means, yeah, it really depends. Who won the MC build contest? I have not had the time to look yet, but I'm hoping tonight that I can go through and see who the winners are. 
Um, I apologize that uh, it's only been a, it's been two days actually since it's closed, but I'm uh, slowly breaking and falling at the seams. Um, but I will get that to you as soon as possible. <laughs> um, and I will tweet out the winner. I haven't looked yet. Uh, but if you guys missed it, I did have a $300, like, uh, yeah, $300 prize pool for making a Minecraft build. It's closed now. But if you guys want to look at the builds, um, there should be a link called, like, contest or something in chat. I'm not sure. Jade, it's so late in South Africa and I'm running a music festival tomorrow. Oh my god, have a good music festival because that's totally fine. Go get some sleep. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. All right. Chills music on the song. I spent six hours on mine. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited to see them. I, I really, I have I have three prizes to give out. So first place, second place, third place. There's gotta be at least a good handful. And I'm glad to see that a good majority of you guys submitted. I agree, Ghost is good. Ghost is great. Ghost is great. Hello to everyone who um, entered the build contest. True. True. I hope everyone did what they wanted. And if you guys, I saw one person did forget to submit their build, which was very sad. But um, you know, life happens. I have extra stuff to add on. Go for it. Go for it. You have you have two minutes, Hunter. You have two minutes before it officially starts. If you guys would also like to, you know, like, retweet, and whatever the, the, the tweet out about the show, feel free. Um, that could be epic. You know, it always helps. It always helps Stuima. All right. All right. Also, it is... I'm, like, beginning to try and cope with how hot it's in my room usually. I try and, like, keep my PC a little bit off before I do stream, and then I'm like... I've been pretty against wearing not t-shirts, but it's just so much cooler that way. Bite it back. Why are we biting things? Do not bite things. Stop biting. Chat, are you guys biters? Are we a bit of biters around here? Okay, chat, how many of you bite? How many of you bite? No, I love my cat. What? bite things i bite my nails i used to when i was younger um i've gotten better at it you can't really tell but they're like decently long but my nails are very brittle i have very brittle nails so they'll like fray i don't even know how to describe fray easily i usually try and paint them to give them like some semblance of strength but um yeah it, it's rough i bite my girlfriend oh i thought you meant you bite your girlfriend's nails and i was like what <laughs> she okay are you okay you know um like once a month i think that's fine i think there's like that you know you, something so cute that you want to bite it um and i think with significant others that is real i've bitten many people on the arm before i'm a biter your stream is a biter i do expect to see a lot of chatters be biters maybe okay a lot of you guys are pussies and don't want to admit it so i'm going to consider all maybes to be yes remember the scorpion and the weird slug thing i know you think you know the answer. Slug, scorpion, sapturi. I'm I'm racking my brain. Biting is fun. Biting is fun. Biting is in fact fun. I think it was really cute. Build is good. Oh, I'm so excited to see your guys' build. When's next stream? Uh, it should actually surprise guys. I'm in MC prom, <laughs> um, so I will be live tomorrow. Um, and then Monday after that, but I will be live tomorrow, surprise, at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I was invited to MC Prom. I don't know if I have a date. So, uh, you know, it's fine. A single girl slay. Um, so we'll go hang out with the shoddies at the MC Prom, even though I'm probably 10 times older than everyone else going. So that'll be great for me. That'll be great. Um, gotcha days. Hello. Um, what is MC prom? Basically Minecraft prom. It's sort of like a bigger, really cool, honestly, super cool event that, um, fuck. What the fuck is his name? I'm like blanking on names. I'm slightly embarrassed. Something. Brian, are you still in chat? Brian, help me. <laughs> help me. I'm so stupid. Fuck. I can't remember his name, but he's cool, dude. Cool, dude. Um, I don't think you're in Monday because I have school, and I'm in year 10. Oh my god, no, it's, no worries, chatters. No, no worries. If you guys can't make stream, I understand that school is going on right now, but I'm here if you guys want me. You know what I'm saying? And Predator, hello, Predator, no, unacquired, hello, hello. All right. I think it's time. It's time. It's time to begin the show. 
Welcome in, Acquired and Pred. You guys came in just in time. Same to you, Squid. Hello. Hello, Squid. Hello, Squid. All right. So here we go. The beginning of the show. With our first presentation given to us by Hunter. And so far, I think we have four other presentations for today. That, uh, what show? Uh, the show. Chat presents. You, you silly. The, the only show that there is out there. I don't know why. Oh, it's hiding. There she is. Okay. Chat presents the show where we, me and Chatters, interact to create probably the most cursed content on the platform where we present our quirky ideas and thoughts in our heads that should really be caught, kept up there and not expressed in any manner or form because we should never be creative. It only leads to horrible things. But that's what I love most about... The internet is all the things that you can come up with that should have been left in your daydreams. So, bringing coming in strong as our first <laughs> as our first person on the show, we have Hunter. Hunter, hello. Hello, King. Hello. <laughs> I hear that you've got a presentation for us today. A good I, one. I do, I do. I'm excited. I totally do. All right. I already have it prepared. Oh, you... wait, I should probably fix that. Sorry, one second. You're good. If you'd like to uh, introduce yourself to the chat and, and exactly what you'll be presenting, uh, a sequel or a prequel, and, and what the show is, or movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure this doesn't have a sequel, unless you count, like, the movies, but... The movies? What uh, is it? Uh, I'm I'm doing Phineas and Ferb. I'm doing Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb, a sequel. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. The sequel. The sequel. You know, it's good. I'm excited. Oh god, wait. Say all right, something. All right. Oh my god, I literally oh. had a heart attack. The chat can hear you. Anyway, no, you, they totally can though. <laughs> oh my god, that was that was terrifying. We totally are. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. I, I introduce. I'm introducing. My, uh, my <laughs> sequel idea. <laughs> uh, Phineas and Ferb, uh, the sequel, Paul and Finn. Paul and uh, Finn. Name. Okay, Paul okay. Finn. The sequel. <clears throat> the sequel, yeah. Here's the concept. Uh, don't mind this. I had to crop this out for many reasons. Um, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Candace finally gets Phineas and Ferb caught, and instead of being, like, a dream in episode 16 of the <laughs> first season, they're stuck in the military school for a year before they break out and get new identities and now have to do crime to get food on the table. Now, oh, wow. I do have, I have, a big I have shift. more of a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they kind of don't want to go back to their parents after that. Yeah. Uh, and, and their crew eventually finds out and they're like, I want to join. So oh. basically they make a mini mafia. The, I mean, Paul, oh. I almost said Finney's and Ferb, but Paul and, Paul and Finn, massive yeah. mafia. Okay. Yeah, massive mafia. They okay. they've made it out of the 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 I I don't know how. They've somehow made a threatening mafia with just their little friends Buford, uh, Daljeet, and oh my God, I forget the girls. <laughs> damn, damn, no, no, but you know, women, anyway. unimportant. Uh, but <laughs> but yeah, I I think you know, children are the most violent it's of them all. So I think Zabella. they could be great mafias. Zabella. Damn. Isabella, that's her name. That's her name. Well, now she's uh, oh, now she's the Dawn, now you know? she's now she's the assassin, basically. She goes nice. out doing jobs, you yeah, know. Yeah, killing she's a, people. She's a sniper. Breaking necks and out. shit, huh? Yeah. yeah. Paul and Finn get only the get money. the best people for the money. Of course. And then we got we got Phineas and Ferb, obviously. They're the hmm. crime. Hmm. The, the, the the big two. Yeah. They share it because they they never yeah, want to split apart. of the operation. No one's definitely the gonna brains. tell through their disguise of whoever that mysterious Dorito and um Slim Jim hey. looking guy, broccoli head <laughs> yeah. are. They're not. They're never gonna know. Who who, who are those never men? Know. That's Phineas and Ferb yeah. long gone. I never seen him. I know Paul and Finn though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul and Finn, mm -hmm. greatest guy around. You know, mm -hmm. they they basically organize robberies. Uh, assassinations, anything you could think of, mm -hmm. they plan for it. Wow. Uh, then we got Buford, which surprisingly decided, 
uh, that he was just gonna like collect information. You know, he, yeah. he was kind of tired of being the bully. He yeah. was kind of like, I don't know, guys, I don't really want to do it anymore. So he was like, I'm just gonna get information. So very respectfully, the they were, Paul and Finn were like, All right, Buford, do it. Do it, Buford. Do it. So they just do it, Buford. Do it. <laughs> you know, like, they become quite bad. Military school kind of changed them, low key. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, that's something. They're probably gonna dive in into the show, like, what exactly happened that, yeah. you know, they were good kids, those were some good kids, you know? Right. What, some good what kids fucked them they... up? It's scary. Exactly. It Damn, is. those poor kids. And finally, we got Baljeet. Baljeet, mm -hmm. uh, took, took on the role of being, like, the, the tech guy mm -hmm. relating to helping Buford get information. So basically, we got we got the two information guys. We've got uh, Isabella that just murders people. Um, I don't know how she got there, but she did. Uh, maybe that because she's scout. in love with him, right? He's a, she's <laughs> in love Girl with Scout. Finn? Girl scout people named Phil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Phil. Paul. 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 Yeah. 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 Paul. yeah. So, you know, she was kind of like, I'll do it, I'll do it, I can murder people. <laughs> just casual, like, you know, just girl things, all right. you know, I'll all think- Alright, Isabella, you can do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. girls think of three things, eating hot chip, charging their phone, and killing people, you know? That's yeah. what I think about. In That's Minecraft only, though. It. Down, on the <laughs> down low. Yeah. On the down low. Which don't kill me. Yeah. But yeah! I do have a scene for you, I do have a scene for mm. you. Oh my god! I'm not that good at this, but uh, you know, I, I I'm going to present to you a scene. Okay, a uh, live um, action scene. <gasps> live action scene. Oh my god! Uh, I apologize for the amount of stuttering I'm going to do. <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, if I... Finn, <laughs> I know what I'm going to do today. <laughs> what is it, bro? What do you want to do? I want Isabella to go after my mother. Makes sense. I agree. I agree. How are we going to do it? <laughs> We're going to do it today. You see, for... Sorry, I said your wrong name. I'm so sorry. I, I apologize. Uh, no, no, it's fine, Finn. It, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, yeah, all right. Anyways, Finn. <laughs> you got to do it, like... No, I want it fast, because we don't want to get caught, but, like... Not painful. All right, I see. I see. Oh, we should probably like talk to Isabella about this, but like, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but we do this, Paul. We 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 get her. We, we trap her in like you remember that roller coaster we did on like day one. Yeah, I remember that. Hey, let's just put her on that for like forever. Just see how long she lasts. All right. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. I agree with you, Finn. Thank you, bro. I'll see you, Paul. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you. And that's it. <laughs> it seems that, <laughs> that is directly from the sports. <laughs> that's that's fucking beautiful. Oh my god. I, I can you. tell I can tell that they've quite not gotten used to their their, you know, original new their new identities it is yet. The first but... episode. It is the first episode. Oh my god, that is so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> nice! Yeah, they're, they're meeting the alleys, you know, they can't really be seen with each other anymore because yeah. they're the Finn, yeah. Finn, and, and Paul. Paul. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Big yeah. Names, even though they just started out. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. I'm still scared of them because of the names. It's yeah. so generic. You know what? I feel like all of that crime has made um, Burb a lot more confident in himself. I've, I've, I yeah, don't think he, I've heard he's him he's talk that much more. in the entire show. That exactly, was insane. Yeah. Honestly, good for him. Sometimes killing people really spikes that confidence, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And they're killing their he, own he mother. He got a big confidence boost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God damn. What about, now, what about Candace? They're like, uh, fuck Candace, let's kill her mom! Yeah, they, 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 they really, like, want to make Candace's life, like, a live in hell. I think oh, that's, like, mm -hmm. the timeline of the series. Okay. The first season is, like, making Candace, Candace's Suffer. life, like, a live in okay. hell. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. More so than they did when they were just normal kids, you know, messing up her life, you know? They want, they really want her to really fucking suffer. Yeah, at all yeah, times. Yeah. Killing all times. her mom. Their shared mother. <laughs> shared mother. 
that that's a good show i'm invested i haven't seen the entirety of phineas and fur but i would watch that one i would watch super gore heavy themed finn and fifth paul paul finn it's and okay. paul it's really hard to remember i don't know why it's so fucking i keep thinking finn is <laughs> fucking it i don't know phineas because it God. sounds like an f but it yeah. isn't because it's ph words are hard it's stupid I hate the English alphabet. I do too. Okay. But thank you, Hunter, for showing us your amazing sequel to Phineas and Ferb. That was fucking epic. Round of applause. Everyone, <laughs> everyone in chat, tell them, would you watch it? I would watch uh, it. I would watch it. <laughs> I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying that. You know what? I don't need to watch thank the you. new show, The Boys. I just need to watch... The Chronicles of Phineas Ferb, Phil, and Paul. That's where it's exactly. at. That's where it's fucking at. See, everyone would totally yeah. watch. Everyone is watching actively. You need to start making that show. I do. I do. I need to contact. I need to contact them. I need to talk. I need to talk to Disney about yeah, this. Yeah, you gotta go talk to your people now. Immediately. Yeah, I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go. I have to go. I have oh my to God, they're calling you right away. They're gonna oh steal us. They're gonna steal it. Copyright. I have to go. I have to go. Copyright. <sighs> I gotta copyright it. I'll teach. Oh my God. Wow, what a what a wonderful start. You know, if I was rich and wealthy um, and not scraping at the bottom of the barrel, I would fund that show immediately. You know what? That is the winner of today's show. We'll get their show entirely funded. No matter how many copyright and calls of defamation are going to be attacked at us for stealing already existing movie shows and series. You know, definitely not going to have issues with the copyright um, uh, to any sequels of movies that are do not belong to us whatsoever. I don't think they'll have a problem. I don't think they'll have a problem at all, you know? De definitely not. De definitely not. All right. So, next on the docket, let's see. We had the lovely Phineas and Ferb sequel presentation. And next... Whoever's next. Why do I have to play the sad music? Don't fucking give this to me, YouTube. I want this one. Yeah! This one's fucking hype! This one's hype! Let's fucking go! Alright. It may be that our presenters of today are not here. So, I think I'm going to present another one of my super awesome ideas. Alright? First, I hit you with Cars the movie um 50 shades of fuel um between um lightning the queen and his tractor friend uh very very gay movie but awesome it was it's beautiful movie but my other sequel 50 shades of fuel what is my other sequel let me think spongebob sequel because i have to i'm playing the fucking music but the sequel to spongebob actually completely removes spongebob from the equation it is actually a prequel to spongebob a a prequel of sandy cheeks and how they actually got to the bottom uh of the bikini bottom and the reasoning is behind it is um being a wanted um criminal uh, in several countries, um, in the jurisdiction below the seas actually does not apply. So Sandy Cheeks is actually a wanted criminal in multiple countries in Asia, United States, Europe, um, everywhere. Um, so in order to escape going to jail for probably the rest of her squirrely life, Sandy Cheeks actually went down into the, you know, quite literally the bikini bottom, the deepest part of the ocean, where she found her friends and guess what no you're right sandy cheeks is not actually her real name because she had to lie in order to blend in with these people bikini bottom sandy cheeks it blends too well when you have sandy cheeks you're probably wearing bikini bottoms okay sandy cheeks's real name is actually redacted that's right. Sandy Cheeks was created in the lab by the government as a biological warfare device that became 
sentient and then went against the government that they were originally made for. And that's why they are wanted, not only by their own country, which is also redacted, but other countries as well. It's um, a part of war. So they don't actually have a name. They actually were... Um, noticed this phenomenon of names and decided to go with the first thing that came to mind when they hit the Bikini Bottom. So that, that is the prequel to Spongebob, the, the, the lore to who we now know as Sandy Cheeks in the Bikini Bottom. Um, but yeah, I'd fucking watch it too. That sounds like a banger show. She, she's already pretty smart, but it's all artificial. Think about it. How much oxygen can you really save in one bubble under the ocean? You know, it's gotta give somewhere. It's gotta give. They have so much technology covered in fur. Like, no squirrel would live in those conditions. Where's she gonna get all those nuts, you know? Sandy Cheeks is an unfortunate name. It, it is unfortunate um, because, you know, you don't really think about it as a kid, but the older you get, you notice the, the inconsistencies with Sandy Cheeks. Will there be action? Nothing but action. I'm talking about from the beginning of the show to the very end, you'll be nothing but on the edge of your seat. I could promise you that. I'm actually on the directing team. I'm making this a show. Uh, I'm making myself Sandy Cheeks. It is going to be live action. <laughs> not even... <laughs> actually, no, I will not be the main character because I will not be looking like that. Um, because that would involve wearing stuff that would allude to being a certain thing um so no actually it won't be live action at all i'm a liar just like sandy cheeks we're just we're so alike you know i'm always on the edge of my seat that's where my legs hang from well that is true that is in fact true hate sandy cheeks don't you hate it when you go to the beach you sit down after you're getting your ass wet and it's just sandy it's just sandy. And that sand gets everywhere. It's coarse. And it gets everywhere. Why do we have sand? Just sticks to you, you know? Just like the memories of fucking up during a social conversation and you have to go to sleep every night. Filtering and browsing through that conversation over and over, thinking about the words and things that you could have said, but instead you either were silent or said something stupid sticks to you and you know it can never let go you can only wash away the sins of sand on your sandy cheeks in a shower i uh, can never get rid of it no it is stuck with you you will wake up finding sand in your shoes for at least a year after visiting the beach where did this come from stalling <laughs> potential stalling low-key i might have to change what the stream is i'm not gonna lie um unless people show up kind of sweating i'm a little bit embarrassed but it's okay this stuff happens you know this stuff happens but i will be presenting my own shows we can talk about our shows what shows should exist you know exactly we have our first potential show in the showbiz you know big man in the showbiz snafu director and award academy winner snarkly oh, snafu oh. with at least five grammys to their name Welcome. Hello, hello. I do not have visuals today, but that's because I don't need visuals. You don't need I visuals. Need to tell my story. Yeah, exactly. See, because it, it, that's a lot to pay for. Your visuals are on the big screen in those movie theaters. So <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. we can't actually afford you. Uh, you know, because if you had visuals, <laughs> we'd have to pay you because that's like a thousand an hour. Actually, a thousand a minute for your time, Mister Mister Snarkly. Isn't Listen, that correct? I've been, I've been known to have high asking prices. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, Fully so anyway, worth of it, though. Full worth. Anyway, <laughs> uh, today I am here to pitch my next movie project to you okay. in hopes of securing funding okay. for this. Love um, funding. Everyone, everyone loves the good cult classic film Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Yes. So I'm thinking we bring Michael Sarah back to do the sequel, okay. Scott Pilgrim vs. the Pantheon. Now, that's uh, that's a little like it's it's a, it's a mouthful for the title, I think. Okay. Um, I, so that's I'm stupid. What's a pantheon? On. 
Pantheon is like, let's think like Hall of Gods, basically. Okay. So we, we've had Scott Pilgrim fighting the world. Yeah. Now we need to fight the people that rule over the world. God. All of them. Yes. Gods? All Multiple. Of them. All the gods. Think. We're combining Scott Pilgrim, beloved cultural icon. Huh. Yes. With Love another him. cultural icon. Yes. Kratos of the God of War series. Oh. Scott Pilgrim okay. becomes Kratos. After the death of Ramona Flowers, oh. he decides, I'm going to make the people that caused this pay. Yes. Bless up, Ramona. You know? Bless up, Ramona. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a shame. It's a shame that she died, mm -hmm. but... Everyone loved her. Everyone loved her. A and little that's too much, why, you know? For, for that exact reason, Scott has to now get revenge on all the gods. Aphrodite, yes. why does she make her so lovable? Why? Yeah. You know? Yeah, why if does it he love for that? you, Aphrodite, I would not feel pain right now for my love <laughs> that is now dead. Aphrodite. Ares, if it weren't for you, I would not feel this violent. <laughs> I would not. So would Aphrodite not is fully responsible for the concept of dream pixie girl, and Ares exactly. is fully responsible for male testosterone. The actual Listen. chemical testosterone. I know a lot of the depictions we have of Greek gods are like mm -hmm. marble. Yes. Where are you going to find marble that looks blue enough to like match the hair of Aphrodite, you know? Aphrodite, I thought, had pink hair. I'm thinking Manic Pixie like like Ramona. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Where, will, where will we get this blue marble? The Stop it. number one, <laughs> number one Manic Pixie dream girl in the world, Aphrodite. Yes. She's the one. She she has she has blue hair and pronouns. Aphrodite actually invented those two things. Correct. Correct. The inventor I, of pronouns. Aphrodite. Not only is this movie a great uh, great <laughs> source of entertainment, it's also <laughs> a great source of knowledge. And the gay agenda. The gay agenda. We <laughs> cannot forget the gay agenda. This movie is actually secretly the gay agenda. We must yes. introduce blue hair pronouns Aphrodite to your your at home theater. Watch this with Correct. your kids. No one no one was supposed to know this, but I'll let you in on a little production secret. Okay, okay. If you play the movie back backwards, okay. you'll hear the director whispering gay agenda multiple times the entire movie. Oh my god. And you're the director, right? Yes. So that's that's you. Yes. What does I this like sound like? Give us an the, example. Snarkly likes to speak in the third person. Snark, yeah, I mean, because it's an expensive name, Mr. S exactly, Mr. Snark. Exactly, exactly. Um, I get royalties every time someone uses it. I think I'm broke. <laughs> Shit. Um, uh, but no, that's why That's why you call me Snafu. That's why you don't call me Snafu. True, true. You can't afford it. Mi Mr. Mr. Snafu. The first... We finally uncovered the reason you call me Snafu <laughs> instead of Snarkly. <laughs> This is their actual lore. It's because Mr. <laughs> Mr. Snafu here is a well-renowned, world-renowned, uh, Mr. Um, 503, um, director. Yes. Dale. Yes. Correct. Dale. Dale. That's his middle name. Um. But back back to the movie. Yeah, you know? of course, of course, um, of course. So, so we we got you know Aphrodite's on the on the shit list because why You're is putting... she making Scott? <laughs> Scott love Ramona so much. Yeah. Ares, why is Ares making Scott wage war against the gods? True. Um, so much Dionysus, because why did why did you make the driver that killed Ramona drunk? Um, Whoa! <laughs> is this actual in the movie? Is this real? This is this did I miss is some the plot sequel. in this the first one? Now the sequel is really hidden heavier than I the anticipated. Goes dark. Okay. I've Peggy taken... Joe. Sorry. Thank you for the follow. Also, hello, Thank hello, Peggy Joe. Um, I like your name. Welcome. We're talking about the sequel to what Mr. Snafu was describing as coming to theaters this summer. Um, uh, Scott the title. Pilgrim versus the Pantheon. Yes. Um, but yes, so that's Aphrodite, that's Ares, that's Dionysus. Yeah. There's so fucking There's many Zeus. of them. Um, you gotta hit Zeus, Zeus man. What about Zeus, Poseidon? You know. And Hades? <gasps> Maybe yeah, Hades. I yeah, you no, know, Hades, oh, no. Hades is the last one, you know, Hades okay, is yeah. the fucking Gideon of this movie. Yeah. Hades got his own, like, little fucking underground lair and shit with, like, people with passwords. The password's probably something, like, I'm so sad. Yeah, um, or, like, that one show, Sherlock, where the password was, I am 
and then I sure, and then Hades locked. locked. <laughs> I am Hades I locked. Am Hades locked. <laughs> I am. Uh, I am the. And then there's a blank spot, and then world. He thinks highly of himself, but yeah, he is the exactly. underworld, and that's the password. <laughs> under. World. The password I is under. I am underworld. <laughs> that the is his phone under. password. Under what? Under what? <laughs> Wait, Snuffle, look under there. Un un mm, 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 mm. That's gonna cost money. Shit. Uh, I can't afford <laughs> any of your time. <laughs> Mystics, please do tell us what other gods will be appearing in this film. Um let's let's look them up why don't we little little did little you ever did rules. you ever read the hit series percy jackson i did and then i promptly forgot it um okay because i feel like that's you're gonna why be Scott's dealing with fighting athena for yeah. not giving me the knowledge of the gods you the knowledge remember the gods. oh exactly yes Wait, there's a this, bit of fourth wall. this movie breaks the fourth wall actually Just like the first one did you know a little bit yeah, right yeah exactly so, no yeah scott pilgrim's upset with Athena for not giving the director of the movie the knowledge required for the movie. Yes. Okay. How would, you know, how would Scott know that Ramona would die that night? Why didn't Athena let him know? True. Why didn't she give him that knowledge? True. You know? So, I'm seeing uh, a lot of, um, Scott Pro Pilgrim seems to like blaming his um, problems on others, right? That's Scott for you. That's Scott. Scotty. Scott. Scotty. You know, if one, one thing hasn't changed between the two movies, it's Scott. Okay. So what we're the theme that's continuing on from the first to the sequel is um um male <laughs> male weaponized incompetence. Correct. Yes. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> At the end of the movie, after he defeats Hades and hmm. he, you know, he he frees Ramona from the underworld so he can be with his love again. She's like, don't you remember, Scott? It was you who was driving that car. Boom. He was driving the car. Boom. Wait, so... Did he not remember because he was so drunk? He didn't remember. Exactly, yeah. Oh my god. He was just so angry at Dionysus for making uh, Ramona so Skiller he drunk, blamed when in reality... Everyone else. It was him. Mm -hmm. For his own mistakes. He couldn't yes. cope. There, there are no happy endings here. Actual copium. Scott Pilgrim copium. Yes. Wow. That's and, a twist. You know, as, as Ramona delivers this uh, hell of a twist mm -hmm. to Scott, Scott, Michael Sarah does his uh, signature looking happy and then saying, what? And then looking sad. The signature Michael, Michael Sarah move. That, that one costs at least a couple hundred thousand for that signature move, you know. You exactly, must pay him a lot, yes. but you can afford it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Incredible. That. So that that is my movie for you. That is my that is my sequel. That um, that's fucking incredible. I I'm thoroughly I'm excited. I'm excited for this to come into theaters and Critters no way. Thank you. It's coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. Oh, so this is this is you're doing a preemptive, um, what's the word that, when the actors go around and talk about their movie? It, this is a press junket, actually. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. interesting place to pitch it. Thank you, thank you. But I'm um, flattered I want to, I want to I be sure that I get, you know, people who can appreciate art yeah. in there. And anyone who watches the Made of Jade stream yeah. clearly appreciates art. This is true. They are quite artful in their own way. Exactly. So, Even, you know who's, who appreciates art more than Made of Jade viewers? Made of Jade subscribers. If that's... you appreciate art, then you know you have to subscribe to this channel. Did you know also that... And this month alone, you can save 30%. Oh, shit. That's so good. That is such and if a deal. You, and maybe even Mr. Mr. Snafu, uh, for every ticket sold to Scott Pilgrim versus the Pantheon, you can get an extra subprime. Oh, yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. You show your ticket yeah. to the to In the fact, people? you buy tickets by subbing to this channel. That's, that's true. That's actually a new technology that we just introduced. Yeah, you are forcefully brought to the theater once you subscribe, but you, you'll want it. Trust us. That's, yes, that's actually yes. how you get the tickets, you know? Yes, correct, correct. Sequel to Kicking and Screaming, Pissing and Shitting. No, that's my personal um, biography <laughs> title. Don't don't link that yet. That's my autobiography that's being currently worked on. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for, for talking about your movie today. 
Of course, of course. All right. Goodbye. You, you're you're gonna be a busy guy because it's coming out tomorrow. Oh hell yeah, I am. All right, best of luck. Oh, they're gone. I can't move this goddamn chat presents. Oh well, it's there now. Oh my god, amazing, incredible show. What a what a show. Am I right, gamers? Damn. Movie number two. All right. <clears throat> Breaking news. Streamer has no news at all. <laughs> Hello, Nina. Welcome to chat. How are you? you? Look so pretty. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's very sweet. Because we're a we're a game show, baby. That was great. That was awesome. I think Phineas and Ferb sequel the Mafia and the sequel to Michael Scott versus the World being versus the Pantheon is a great twist, especially with the new um, Percy Jackson series coming out. Perfect timing to really attack those competitors before that show comes out. You know, people want to see something to tide their, you know, bide their time. Um, so great timing for for world nominated movie cinem cinema producer, Mr. Snafu. But yeah, um, <coughs> let us see. Let us see. You know what I'm thinking, gamers. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking... Let me see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That one's good. Oh, I want to hear about the... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Alright. That's why he's thinking of Whitey. That was great. Question mark? Huh? Yeah. <gasps> thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate it. That's very sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Our gamers, I think, I think we we had a bit of a quick show today, a bit quick show, but I'm glad it happened. It was an hour, so that's honestly pretty good for a show. Since they're usually two, but it's fine, mostly because stuff happens. I was wondering what you were wondering. Oh, I I think streamers think a lot. Streamers think a lot. Streamers got the think and their thunk. All right, let's see. Let me pull up different music. Oh wait, papaya is in. <laughs> Oh god. Okay. Alright, we might have one more that I'll allow. Mr. Papaya. Um, actually known to create the, um, record-breaking for worst sales Morbius the movie. We have director Papaya. Let's see how they can make a bit of a comeback after that huge failure. Hello, welcome in Papaya. I made Morbius? Hello, creator of Morbius. How were you able to cope with the drastic failure of your film, Morbius, after you were completely memed and destroyed on the internet? You know, it was rough. It was really rough. But you know what? We're mm -hmm. making it through, and I have... It's a new superhero movie we're presenting. Okay, today. a big comeback from Papaya. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. People will be ready so, okay. for some infamous movies, and they might even see it just to laugh, but you're going to catch them off guard, I'm pretty sure, with this new hit. <laughs> I'm Yes, yes, the new hit. It's it's a reboot mm, mm. of Batman uh -oh. v Superman. Uh oh, uh oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, do it's, tell. It's okay, okay. Mm -hmm. It's take it take it like this. It's yes. the same movie. Uh huh. But but hold on. Okay. Hold on. I have my screen to share. Oh, okay, okay. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's the same movie. Okay. But it ends like this. So hold on. So we got wonderful. Mm -hmm. We see that's Batman, right? Batman. Yeah. It's, In it, the Batman versus movie, Superman. But it ends like this. Okay. okay. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's oh my a love god. story. It's amazing. Oh my god. I'm I'm it, so impressed. Oh my god. Right. It that that changes everything. It should, the whole context. It's completely different. It's different. Like that it's, that no one thought that v, that was going to happen. 
And there's exactly. probably the V is no longer it four puts persons. a new light on all the real the, the all of the things that we didn't notice about the first movie about how down bad um Batman and Superman actually had for each other that exactly. they kept deep inside. It was toxic masculinity keeping them away from their yes, extreme was, hot gay love that they had for each other love. that would that finally came to fruition right at the end that's a beautiful exactly, movie exactly. I'm, i think i'm crying it's, it's, it's beautiful the exact same movie except it just instead exactly. of superman dying at the end it's that i think the real beauty of it is it highlighting on the there's those subtle gay themes sprinkled exactly. throughout more exactly. gay agenda more gay agenda. I don't think That's we have enough. That's what we're here for. Morbius wasn't gay enough, so I had to <sighs> go a step further this time. That's the only reason why the movie did bad, you know? That you was realize the only that. Reason. See, because the but difference yeah. between those two movies is Morbius wasn't gay, and no, Batman and no. Superman were gay. They were gay. All along. I, I should have made Matt Smith and Jared Leto kiss at the end. Then then that would have been a masterpiece. You might you know what you know what you could do, actually. Mm -hmm. After Batman Superman versus you uh -huh. make a new movie uh -huh. that's exactly like Morbius, but right at but. the end, Morbius kisses that Birdman to the exact same song. You're so right. I'm a fucking They're genius. Going out to Lincoln Park. Hold on. Do you do you have that clip on you? Maybe you're working ahead. <laughs> From the end of Morbius? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, I personally uh, never want, uh, I'm going to be honest, Papaya, uh, I was never really a big fan of, of Morbius. I actually never watched it uh, in film you theaters. You didn't watch my movie, I, even with the re-release. So, the real, I, I didn't think the re-release was out. It already re-released. We did it like two weeks after the movie it's came gay out. It's gay Morbin time? It's it's gay Morbin time. Morbius, well, that, it's gay the, Morbin the original time? The re-release didn't have... Uh, I can't find the end credits scene. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. You keep looking at my. You know, you have so many files. You're a busy man. You know, you're a busy guy. Uh, Sharky Gamma, hello. You're pretty sassy for not being forklift certified. I know. It's like, literally, my one red flag is that I'm not forklift certified. Like, I would be. I would have been a ten out of ten. You're not forklift certified. I'm not. Jane? I'm That's... not. <sighs> Listen, Sucks. it was going to be kind of outed in my autobiography called the sequel to sh um, Screaming... Uh, I forget what it was called. Screaming and Shitting, Pissing and Crying. That's uh -huh. my autobiography. That's a great title. autobiography. Thank you. That was beautiful. It brings a tear to my eye. Hello, Schmeggle Pop! Hello! Hello, hello, Welcome in, Schmeggle. Honestly, it's against you. I not be forklift certified. Don't fucking tell a goddamn soul, Sharky. <laughs> all right? You say a word to anyone yeah, what if there's a forklift related emergency and you're not certified to handle it jade they don't need to know listen as long as you keep your mouth shut sharky and i remain to not be forklift certified you'll be fine you'll live a beautiful long life and you might be able to catch in theaters batman and and superman versus what special ending oh my god <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna make noise, I thought I muted it. Oh wait, are, are you ready? Wait, 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 wait. Do we, do we have- I don't know, I found the ending. Hold on. <laughs> I think. Oh my god. Not allowed. Why is this at Twitch, Jade, did you just right. fucking at Twitch? God damn it, you're gonna get the- You're gonna get Twitch. You're gonna get the- Fuck, dude, I gotta end. I gotta actually no, delete it. My god. Oh my god. Schmuggle Pop, was that fucking Prime? Thank you for the Prime. What the hell, dude? You just got- You just secured your tickets to not only um, Phineas and Ferb Mafia sequel, uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the Pathion sequel, but you've also earned your exclusive theater ticket to Papaya's new sh movie, um, The yeah. Gay Batman Superman Agenda. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chat, we can really support her. <laughs> Please, I don't have my forklift certification. <laughs> I would like to revoke my sub due to you not being forklift certified. I'm considering an accomplice to your recognosis. Listen, okay? I need you to understand something, chat. It's hard. Getting that forklift certification is difficult. All right, it takes it time. It takes effort. Um, I'm actually actively working on it. You know, sometimes people make mistakes, and I think we need to move forward from 
from canceling people to learning that, you know, maybe we can change. And maybe one day in a couple of weeks, I will be forklift certified. The certified it take that long. <laughs> I regret Give my me an hour, I'll forklift certify you. Oh my god. Uh, that's a part of my autobiography, actually. We're actively <laughs> recording my in my entire life in a documentary about how I'm getting forklift certified titled um, Made of Forklifting. Um, made of forklifting. It ain't easy being forks and lifting forks. Amazing. <clears throat> also, I found I found this. Oh my god! Okay. Thing. All right, guys, we're seeing an exclusive sneak peek to the second sequel to Morbius. Well, how it really should have ended. Yes. All right. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 so, yeah. so mm -hmm. it's it's the end of Morbius, right? Yeah. It's it's, it's the exactly crazy. the same. It's the same. It's the same thing. Hard as the first time because I didn't line it up. It's fine. Oh my god! Whoa! It's wow! It's oh buffering. my god! Oh my god! It's like a it, is. it makes it so much better though. It does. Holy cow! Wow! No! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god! I'm like tearing up. This is. I'm getting like actual chills right now. Can you see it, Chad? You see the hair raising on my arm? Thanks for meeting me, Doc. I've been reading about you. Uh, uh, <laughs> Has to with Spider-Man, I think. I'm figuring this place out, but I think a bunch of guys like us should team up. Could do some good. Intriguing. And then they kiss, but we don't have that footage yet. Fuck! It's because it's exclusive. Get your prize It's exclusive, it's exclusive. Exclusive, it's exclusive theater tickets, and you get to it's see exclusive. them fucking make out at the end, exactly, all right? Exactly, exactly. If you Holy guys prime, shit. if you guys prime and get your tickets, we're, we're golden. Pause and let before I get to the end. <laughs> hurry, 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 hurry. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. End it. <clears throat> what do you guys think? That, that I honestly, you know what? You know, you might have, the, the entire world might have absolutely fucking clowned on you when you first released Morbius, but I think you're they, actually really coming back from this. I think I'm coming back. I think the, the gay agenda is really carrying me here. The gay agenda will always carry you, okay? Mm -hmm. Not enough gay. The LGBTs have always had my back, they, and that's all I need. True. And see, they didn't have your back because there was not enough gay in the first one. There wasn't movie. enough gay in the um, first one. That, to... <laughs> that was on me. That was on you. But now now Morbius is gay, so. And that's that's just the reality we always wanted. Rets Rose, welcome to chat. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> listen. Listen, not only is Hawk Birdman making a comeback, but mm -hmm. Morbius will um anyway so the movie is exactly. in fact rated r due to these features added at the very yeah. end of the movie but yeah, i think yeah. you know uh you're still gonna get the it's... ticket so you can still watch yeah 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 it's it's the exclusive footage coming <laughs> soon we got to do some, some reshoots coming soon well it's coming soon and not tomorrow like snarkles but Coming True. Soon. We we can't have multiple banger movies coming on the same day because then you exactly. guys are fighting for like, you know, you know, money. Like uh, actually, Snafu is you know, are you exactly. are you and Snafu like you know the same cinema sphere? Like do you guys are you guys competitors yeah, yeah, yeah. actually? We're, okay. We're, no 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 no. It's oh. same same studio. It's it's same all the, studio. the 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 made up. It's it's uh, like Ghibli, but it's production studio. The, the gay agenda. The gay agenda. Studios. Exactly. That's yes. awesome. I'm so glad yeah, to see genius. so many cinema directors. Yeah, we're just, we're great. Well, Davido, <laughs> Davido, do can we have naked or not? That's only something Papaya can tell us. Or is that I, exclusive? You know what? That's, uh, you'll have to come see the movie to find oh, out. Oh, shit. You, you gotta, you gotta subscribe with Twitch Prime to see. <laughs> That's so true. Papaya. That's so true. Thank you so much for telling us about your movie. I think it's unique, yeah. never done before. I <laughs> no, think never. It's actually really changing the game. It's not quite what Disney does when they turn every single movie they've fucking had in the history of Disney and turning it into really shitty live action. Exactly. But it's really bringing some some heart and soul back into movies. Yeah, some some new ideas to some old movies that really need need a breath of fresh air. I love gay. I love gay breaths of air. 
gay breaths. Mm. I take those every day. I, my favorite. Amen. A little gay <laughs> air in your in your lungs <laughs> to really um, breathe. Oxygen exactly. is a gay molecule. You guys didn't mm. know because it's got it's got one oxygen and two really gay two, hydrogens. Uh, yeah. It's a polycule. Yeah, you know? yeah. But they're still gay in there. <laughs> That's still... all that matters. <laughs> Alright, bye. You seem to like you're a busy man. <laughs> I'm very busy. I'm very busy. He's a busy, busy man. He's a busy man, Chad. Thank you so much for <laughs> giving us the opportunity to speak with you today, Mr. Papaya. Oh, price, price, price. It was an honor. It was such an Morbius honor. Morbius 2 coming to theater soon. Fuck yeah. Love to hear it. Alright. And luckily, not only did I have the creator of the sequel to Phineas and Ferb, the sequel to that guy fighting gods and Morbius Gay. We have the somewhat critically acclaimed to be perhaps the best and the worst director in the world. Um, known to be, their origins are a bit shady, a bit vague. Many do believe that perhaps they don't actually exist. The owner of the Nolominati themselves, Alice, from maybe Britain. We have yet to really figure that out. Alice, welcome in. Hello, hello. Welcome. I, I'm excited for what movie you are here or show or series that you're here to share with us today. Well, I'm a little bit unprepared, but I was like, you know what? We'll <laughs> go with something. Fuck yeah. Um, so, mm -hmm. the movie I want to make the next okay. movie for okay. is... Johnny English. Now, now, if you don't know what the film is, it's about someone who is a villain. Is okay, a villain. a villain, a villain, got and, it. Yeah, a villain, and they intend on stealing the British crown jewels. Oh! And have been murdering the English undercover agents. Now, okay. So, a, a, a movie about um, things that don't exist. So it's a bit of a yeah. fiction movie, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we love fiction around no. here. It's kind of mm -hmm. like it's kind of like that one other fictional place set in a fictional place, um, yeah. Harry Potter. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's just like a bit yeah. quirky, you know? A bit quirky, you know? That's all the British all about. Sorry, that slipped out. I like to. <laughs> it's like you know, learning uh, that Star Wars, funny people. It, it, you you language. are speaking with a non-existent accent, then. Yeah. I just yeah. yeah. I'm I'm Damn. good at voices. Um, I I hear them all the time. Me. Right oh, up here. Okay. <laughs> go to your fire, go to your therapist about that. I would, I'd recommend that. Some people tell me that they can't really see my therapist, but um, oh. I think it's just because they didn't pay them enough. You know, they stopped talking after yeah. you stopped the payments. Um, oh, it makes me okay. feel like they don't really care about me, but they just care about my money. But tell us about Johnny English, who's English, yeah. English man. Well. Hmm. So, the, ne the, the next movie I would like to create is a sequel, pre-sequel, I don't know what, to this one. Yeah. But you see, the twist is, is in it... In it? Instead of... In instead it? Of, Tell me no, more. No. Tell me more. In the movie, in the mm -hmm. movie, instead of simply mm -hmm. just killing the undercover British agents, right. he kills all the British citizens. Oh! And, so yeah, he gets fed up. He gets fed up that people are stopping him from having the crown yeah. jewels. He just wants to look fancy. Yeah. He just wants to be pretty. He wants to He just wants to be boss. pretty. He just wants a girl boss. Yes. yes. And they are not allowing him to be his full potential. So as so you should, up. and in revenge, he decides to go after them all. The entire I country think... of Britain. All of yes. them. Gone. And it ends on a on a little cliffhanger. You oh. know, a little little does he, does he not? Does he get Does Britain even exist? Is it just all fake? Is the whole movie just a plot? To like get Propaganda. people to think that it, oh. to get people to think Britain exists. You don't know. Are you creating it, it propaganda? Means... No. I don't support that round here. Straight metal off of the chat. I'm simply mm -hmm. showing and opening people's eyes to mm. the questions of do British people really exist? And yeah. Is this movie just a ploy to yeah. get people convinced? Are you trying to know. convince the, the, the good folk? I'm personally not. 
if I was convincing anything at all, I would be convincing them to simply think they do not exist out okay. of after, out of like goodness, like you know, to make someone feel that they aren't have, they don't have to be in fear yeah. of a British person coming up to them. Yeah, because they shouldn't have to feel that. So the 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 anti propaganda is showing is showing the entirety of the english country being decimated by a single man who wants to be pretty yes i think, I think it's, it's a, a hit good that's yeah. a pretty good movie i, I, I think that would be a hit that's that's it that's yeah. a hit in my book i think you know mm -hmm. just as long as the films don't came out on the same day as the other films we just heard about because i want to see those too but you know yeah yeah i get you yeah it's, my, it's... Mine, mine tops them all though because it's <laughs> such Oh, um, amazing! It's in depth. It like okay. goes through the questions of the world. You know, it is just very good. Is the so, best way to put it. It's yeah. So you're you're not working for the same studios that Mr. Snafu and Popeye are at Gay Agent Gay Agenda Studios. I'm not sure. I don't work with a studio. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm independent. Independent. I'm a Hell yeah. yeah. I work on my own shit. And I will beat all of those little studio companies. Yeah, fuck them, dude. Fuck the game <laughs> studio. <laughs> oh my god. That, that's, that's, that's a powerful statement, Alice. It seems mm -hmm. like um, you create as many enemies as the main character in your film. Yes, that's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way. More enemies. It's the only way to get good. It's the only way to get good is to raise your uh, KDA, you know? Yeah, definitely. You know? Yeah. I am my own studio. <laughs> we have uh, one of our directors in chat saying that Morbius 2 with the secret gay ending is going to outperform the British propaganda. What do you have to say about this statement? I think that's just bullshit. I think that they are fooling themselves. They are okay. making fake promises to Whoa. you, which is bad. Whoa, that's 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 and a I big bet, call, big call you know, out to them. You know, I bet, I bet they're British. I bet they're against. You my think film. Gay Agency Studios is British? <gasps> yeah. That's a new conspiracy. I think, I think that's gonna be in in Forbes magazine. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's a well, big. I, I think we're gonna have to. <laughs> Hear from gay agent, <laughs> gay agenda studios, and what they have to say about this. Papaya, bruh, we're bringing oh. in live some real hot drama today. We are being, we are interviewing independent, um, self-proclaimed director Alice and mm -hmm. hot, uh, not hot director. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> okay, hot director, hot on, hot on the block. New movies mm -hmm. coming in, lots gay hot at the end of them, mostly, um, yeah, from yeah. Gay Agenda Studios, Papaya. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Morpheus 2 is gonna outperform any British propaganda you can think of, Alice, I'm sorry. Whoa. No, it's not. No, you're just Brit. You're secretly British. You're like 50% British, I and not, you are oh, picking on not, my not, movie. Not, not, you're not, picking not, on my movie. I am picking on your movie on purpose. Yes. Whoa. No. Not Whoa. because I'm British. Can I'm both of you, no. can you prove that you're not British, Papaya? Because so far, that that's a big statement claim from Alice, you know? They've studied a lot of Britain, British. and so I would trust them Do in being I able to point British? it out. I don't think yes. I'm British. I don't know. Alice says yes. I'm not very familiar How? with the language. Alice, it doesn't exist. Elaborate. Why am I, I have a British? Good way. I have a good way to find out if you're British. What you know? Your way? I was tested the same way. Spell exhibit. E X H I B I T. They're not British. Okay. Maybe. Well, okay. still good a small test. chance. <laughs> still a small still chance. chance. Just a small percentage you know, in your blood. Um, some of them, some of them can be extra smart and like they can find ways around things and they're like mm -hmm. sneaky as a such. And I so think you, I are one of those British people. become a people. sneaky Brit? Yes. There's the, they come in many forms, like zombies in the apocalypse and my hit film, exactly. The Office, I mean the theaters, zombie apocalypse. Your manager, it might be a zombie. It's a long title. I'm workshopping it. <laughs> Work, yeah. yeah. It's not a final product yet. Well, 
I can I can I make a suggestion, Jade? Yes. If you pair with me oh. as duo directors, oh. I can make both of our films a hit, and we can take down that stupid studio. So you're you th- you don't think I can girl boss on my own? Oh no, I think you can. From one independent girl boss to another, you think you're better than me? I think no. I you think, think that I'll that fail better. without you helping my no, movie? I think, I think my movie will be better than your movie. I never said that. You know, girls need support. No. Girls, man, come on. I am. See all these. I. I it's not Jade, a single. I need you. I need you to make you my film. Me. I need you to make my film amazing. Oh my and I could put some little notes into yours as well. Oh. And they could be, I, they could be the best films ever made. Oh my god. See, you know, this is re- something really big missing in the Gay Agenda Studios films. It's all men. It's all men. There's exactly. not a single... Where are the women, huh? It's only exactly. guys, so you know there what? There can be women too. There can be women too. There can? We like our lesbians there too. is. That's part of the gay agenda. <laughs> But is there? But I'm seeing a, a big lack of yet. representation. That's what we need you for, Jade. That's what we need you for. <laughs> and I, now I'm being, I'm being pulled now, between two know, sides. I'm, I'm offering you a position at the Gay Agenda hey. Studios. Oh my god. To hey. be our head of lesbian films. <laughs> that sounds I, know, I, I can't represent them. <laughs> I, can't, I, I cannot, unfortunately, I cannot uh, be the head of the lesbian film. I cannot represent them accurately. Uh, but I, I thank you for the offer. <laughs> Hmm. Interest in a cracker with cheese? With cheese? Cracker with cheese. Our our um coffee our um break room employees decided to bring you all a snack. You know, directors, you need that brain food. We do. Eat we up. Do. Yes. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Crackers and cheese, amazing. This is a stuff right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I still think my film will outsell any of the studio films. I disagree. We'll we'll I find agree. out soon. I'll mm. I'll hear back yes. from you guys later. Exactly. <laughs> and see the update. <laughs> yeah, this isn't over, Alice. No, this isn't. <laughs> oh, I love it here. Insultus, hello, welcome in. Do you have a sudden question for Alice? About the hit film League of Legends, I heard that they did release a film about League of Legends called Arcane. That is made by a different studio, though, so I don't know if Alice has access to that studio. <laughs> Who's Coffee Room Chit Chat? Can you ask? It's not Coffee Room Chit Chat. This is serious. Johnny English versus Morbius 2. That is a big question. That is a big question, actually very important. Mods, if you could create a poll on who would win in the hit film becoming, you know, coming out live soon, will Johnny English be the better hit film than Morbius 2, Secret Gay Ending? Or will Johnny English defeat, or Morbius 2 defeat Johnny English? Papaya, that was a great attempt at a poll. I admire. Listen, you, you stick to the movies. All right, Johnny English, British, and we have Morbius Two: Secret Gay Ending. Okay, start poll. I'm putting my poll over your poll. God damn it, I couldn't. Movies, <laughs> Johnny English, Morbius Two slash Gay Batman. They are releasing two movies instead of just one. That is quite impactful. <laughs> That is an impactful, that's a double hitter. You know, they have the the same amount of funding as Marvel does, which is huge, okay? They they, well, they show you all the different movies that they're going to turn gay right at the beginning of the year. And release it. Uh-oh, seems like Alice is sweating over there. Nervous about how their movie will perform once the gay agenda <laughs> begins. Are the movies available on Jade's throne? <laughs> Don't fuck with the gay agency. All right, a couple seconds left on the poll, and the winner is not gonna come in time for the beat drop. It's so close. Morbius two and Gabe Batman are winning by at least lower than thirty percent. Unfortunately, 
after the release of these films, Alice went absolutely bankrupt. Their hopes and dreams of showing Britain and the potential harmful impacts it has on society failed. The gay agenda prevailed since that day onward, turning movie after movie into gay hits. The gay agenda then began to grow worldwide, and now all of our beloved movies have secret gay endings. <laughs> no! Hey, hey, hey! That's not EA. We're in a new reality now. <laughs> if only you had joined with me, Jade. If only we took on the world together! Oh, but I was torn in two. Do I help the gay agenda? Or do I help British people? Gay post credit scenes for every movie. And that's just an audience that's never tapped enough, you know? People want to see the end credits. They don't have enough of those. I always stick around to see. And it, and it fails me every time. My heart shattered at the impact. How will I go on knowing that there's not a gay agenda to the end of mine? Bye, Celtis. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye, Celtis. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. All right. That was epic. I love epic endings. Scene. Alice lies on the floor, defeated as the music swells. If only you'd join me, Jade, she whispers, a single tear running down her face. That is the, that is the, that is the secret, secret end credits that, um, Gage and the Studios put in their films to their most recent. <laughs> Unknown Merc, thank you for the appreciate it. What is up? Welcome and welcome in. What am I eating? I'm eating a little chip and a big old mozzarella ball. Big old ball, you know? What? Delicious. Let's look out some of them by Zoltis. I'll see you, I'll see you soon. <laughs> I don't really know if I'm in the mood for cheese right now. I, mean, I don't know if I'm in the mood. Eh. What kind of cheese? Mozzarella. Big old mozzarella balls. If it's done as soon, then yeah. Zeltis, you lie! Zeltis, you are just like, Papa, you lie! You'll be here next stream. Right? <laughs> yes. You just ate the cheese, but I'm not really in the mood. You know, you can be, like, not in the mood. Like, you could try it and then not be in the mood. Like, I tried. I'm not in the mood for cheese. Unless I step in here to tell Roshi to step on me. Go check out Roshi's Twitter. I would check out Roshi's Twitter. If you guys haven't already, you should go check out their Twitter. You might be happily surprised by, by, by what you saw, but you just ate it. I had it in my mouth and then decided that I wasn't in the mood for it anymore. Gotta respect my decisions. Gotta respect my de my cheese decisions. Okay. Hey, listen. Newsflash. All right. People, you know, can start a thing and then halfway through say, no. <laughs> This is a this is a reality we all must live with. So maybe I had cheese and crackers, and and then I was like, I don't want cheese and crackers anymore. You know, where's the chocolate? Okay, this isn't mozzarella. Isn't good cheese to mix with dark chocolate? Okay, it goes better with Swiss. Swiss cheese is a nice, sharp cheese for dark chocolate. But yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Caption was wrong though, you should have said POV, you're a Zeltis. Swiss is a miss, that is fucked up. Good snack video idea. One chip challenge. Snafu, I'm not really sure why I heard that one before, but I feel like it's very familiar. And Kropka, what's up Kropka? Welcome back, welcome back. This was fun, this was fun, but we're not ending yet. I'll, 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 I'll chill for a little bit longer. I'm gonna think of another movie idea. Thinking. Hmm, check my text. Where is my phone? Oh, it's underneath my cheese platter. Am I gonna play Valo? Should I play Valo? <gasps> I have a fun idea. <laughs> totally thought up of it all on my own because I'm full of great ideas and don't have little people in my name, uh, in my head name being squid that tell me to do things with that are great ideas. Uh, this is, it's all me, baby, but I have a great video idea. I mean, stream idea for us to do. All right, gamers, we're gonna watch. No, I know, I meant, <laughs> English is hard. 
I basically, okay, fine. Rats out of the bag. Squid, squid is every single brain cell in my head. We supported gay rights. You would hold hands with squid and I. Speaking about the gay agenda, actually, um, I have some, uh, some, 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 some footage that might shock you all. Um, <clears throat> it might be shocking to view, but I, I think we can, we can, as a collective learn to learn to forgive and forget um here we have squid's latest video if you guys haven't seen already you should over at squid inkadink okay good friend of mine very close friend of mine some might say we are we're two peas in a pod but not not quite the peas in the pod that um they might have wanted <laughs> here they, we're gonna play the video it's, it's a banger it's good. You guys not hear it? What the fuck? Oh, you guys can't hear it. <gasps> Turning it over. 100% the K. Those are a lot of Fs. Yeah, no, this this is a this is they this stand is a big... for friend zone. Uh... <laughs> okay, so let me give you a little background. This is me. I'm Squid, and this is Jade. I have a crush on Jade. I have been hitting on Jade for months, eight months to be precise, and Jade thought it was a bit. I'm gonna start by saying this is a first, I have not seen this video yet. This is a raw reaction viewing of me seeing this for the very first time. So this is gonna be very funny. Streamer reacts to stream being rejected by a streamer, not clickbait, counted all those days. So I'm reacting to this live. I've not seen this yet. It's never been a bit. But she found out uh, the night before the stream that it was not a bit. And uh, she decided to reject me live without any warning. So um, please enjoy my <laughs> suffering. So yesterday I got fucking blasted. Had, had some very funny revelations discovered yesterday that uh, all the things Squid say, part of half of them weren't just jokes. That was new, but I got No fucking way you just outed me on my own stream. <laughs> no fucking way you just did that. <laughs> yeah, no, how many of y'all- Jade- Jade- Covering your Jade bed. didn't know. Jade didn't know I wasn't I joking. It's okay though, because now we're besties. Now we're besties, <laughs> right Jade? Yeah. We're best friends. Best friends. <laughs> and they were roommates. <laughs> and they were, they were roommates. roommates. Except we could be more than roommates. But like, you know, that's up to Jade. Squid, you're not subtle, babe. That's what I'm saying! Everyone fucking knew! Everyone knew I wasn't joking! I even knew it wasn't a bit. How did they- they-, they Guys, Jade, Jade, guys I'm so- before I did. Hold up. Guys, can I'm I, so can we talk about this? Because I think this is really funny. Chasing so bands with the chat! For those of you who don't know the lore, I have been hitting on Jade for months. I have been hitting on Jade for months. I recently stopped. I recently stopped. And last night, last night, we make a new friend. And I was like, and I was like, hey, just so you know, like, some of the lore is that I used to be really into Jade. And now, like, we're chilling. And I'm besties. <laughs> and, Jade, and Jade was like, yeah, it was a bit. And I was like, Jade, it wasn't a bit. And she was like, it wasn't a bit? And I literally, I got up and left. I fucking walked away. I punched a hole through my fucking wall. Can we get some Fs in chat for me real quick? Can we get some Fs in chat for me real quick, please? Listen. Oh people, my god. People, uh, we totally missed opportunity. I mean, Could have been stream since know, you know? Squid keeps getting friends you know, out. Squid, you know, Squid, Eight months. Squid's cool. Squid's got a lot of people. That would have been good. Squid talks to a lot of people <laughs> in funny haha -ha ways. And I'm like, ah. This is so funny, haha. -ha. <laughs> it hurts. And, uh, and sometimes I funny haha -ha back. <laughs> um, so that was, yeah, quite literally, I guess I was the only person who didn't know. Okay, those are a lot I'm a of dense F's. motherfucker, Chet. Right? Yeah, no, this, I'm this real is dense. This is, this they this stand is for friend zone. Uh <laughs> Single. <laughs> Oh I was gonna go on a whole bit of like they may have been putting F's to chat for me because you didn't know, but now it's an F in chat for you because you missed out on the channel. best, the best woman you ever gonna come your way, and then you did that, and now I'm like fuck, bro, like shit, <laughs> like if like like my fucking like my fucking ego dick is broken right now. I've been here three streams and I already knew. Damn. Listen, the bolt isn't that bright in those <laughs> regards. Okay, I assume everyone's just it's true. me, but in a nice way. In a way that I'm like, uh But, you know, I just thought Aww. Squid was a little bit, you know, quirky with it. I thought she was super months. quirky. 
Slay. Um, Slay. I'm on my but... I'm on my like bitter arc. <laughs> There's so many phases of it. It's... And I've been I've been like, oh these have been great Since the one. <laughs> This, this is- I was like, this is such a great bit. No, I've added there a storyline to it. There's so this much This is like the beginning involved. of me processing it, I like, and I well, processed it live, which probably wasn't the best place to do that. For eight months. And the best, I think my favorite thing is that Jane and I have had a conversation before about how I was for serious, and she was like, you're so silly. And I was like... You should have seen it as a sign! <laughs> Jane, I, I thought so you knew, and you were just curving the fuck out of me. <laughs> no, it's not genuine. I didn't know what to say. I'm a genuine uh, person. I hope this serves for <laughs> all of you motherfuckers <laughs> um, that are like, 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 my dating, my dating life is rough. I'm always friend zoned. It, it happens to the fucking best of us. You're not the best special. Of us. At least True. yours isn't public on the fucking internet. Squid is the poster <laughs> child. You're like the pointing finger at the friend zone. We want you. <laughs> I am, when you look in the dictionary at the word friend zone, it's a He's picture excited. of my face. We're good Damn. though, right? Damn. <laughs> yeah, we're good though, right? Oh, yeah. We're great. Us? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I feel like I gotta ask you that. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Oh my god. I sit with my feet on my chair, like I sit like like that. A goblin. I oh, I brought my foot wait, up. Wait, hold on. I wanna look at what the chart says. I I brought my foot up too quickly and my desk was too low. And I have you guys know the bone in the back of your foot? Um, I'm not sure which one there. matches. Yeah, like, like I'm not kill, quite like, sure. A little, like, phone. <clears throat> I know how the bruised heel. What's up, baby? Welcome on in. Oh. Um, oh, that's so cool. They're bruised. Yeah. No, parties. Just um, like your heart. <laughs> I am really glad that I'm going on an 11 day vacation. Um, They're back for, now, like, guys. Go purposes. follow Squid. They're in you chat know, right like, now. Nothing, nothing like the, nothing like the sun to heal a broken. Um, I think Squid chat hates me. Thank you, Fawzi. Thank you, Fawzi. Can we get some sympathy subs? You know, Squid. You know, eight months is a long time. I hate, I hate the Mississippi piss who sip by sippy. God damn it! My friend Nate says that I should got milk. Welcome in chat. Hello, my friend. Look at that. This is healing. I think. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Ace. Okay, chat. This is okay, chat. We could we could cry together. I never thought that I would get to the point on the internet that like I would be sitting here getting live rejected by a woman and then getting pity subs. That's insane. I can My do it for anyone. A fucking 180. I thought I had that shit in the bag too, bro. God damn it. It's okay. I've moved on. <laughs> anyone has any like single um, female? friends let me know um <laughs> let me know specifically gamer girls is something that i um like and e-girls uh she wears a lot of eyeliner you probably my type. The bag. holy <laughs> shit <laughs> Well, I didn't even know there's a know? bag! All those constellations, you know. Jellyfish exhibit fun! Oh, so now you're a fucking gold digger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chad is gonna think I'm like some demented. They do. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. And Chad would be thinking correctly. Like boundaries? Oh my god. No, it's Squid's a bad kitten. This is real. Squid is a bad little kitten. Um <clears throat> That was fucking fire. That was so funny. That was so good. Damn it, I missed the jellyfish exhibit. Oh my god. I probably would have missed every single signal or sign though. I'd have been like, look at these jellyfish! And you're like, yeah, I wanted to bring you here. And I was like, thanks! And then I would have taken so many pictures of the jellyfish. And then you'd have been like, you're beautiful, right? And I've been like, I love jellyfish. And you know? Uh <laughs> Take on a day was for sure confusing sign. I'm sorry. Listen, listen, you're gonna listen. People have to be a bit more specific, okay? I'll, I'll listen. People, people, people joke flirt at me all the time, um, because it's funny to, uh, to do that to me. <clears throat> but, um, <laughs> most painful editing experience I've ever had. I think it's good, like, uh, you know, a good step forward. I think it's a good process of healing. I think watching that was was great. I think it shows how far we've come um, as, as best friends. Um, 
Maybe I'll see you for your birthday. Who knows? <laughs> Belinda, what's up? Welcome in. That was a good. That was good. I'm so. I didn't know it was out yet. I don't think I. I didn't see it. I. I. I think I would have saw it after I went offline. Still friends in. Listen. I refuse to be an e-dater. <laughs> E-daters must be suppressed and killed. <laughs> You've both really grown as people after experiencing that. Yeah, when she friends out to the love once again. Listen. It's iconic, you know? Plus, I'd be a horrible person if I was like, damn, shoddy, mm, you know? I care so much about our friendship. <laughs> I love us when we love each other like, like, like siblings. Let's dig the hole! <laughs> it's going to realize she missed a great opportunity and I've grown to flirt with her friends. It's true, it's true, it's true. Squid has instantly moved on. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we have moved on to our next step. <laughs> You're not allowed to say siblings. <laughs> Squid's like, no, I love you. You're one of my greatest friends. But uh, uh, when I say siblings, that's too far, huh? This is so fucked up. It's stop it. She's already dead. So based of you, of you queen behavior. True, true, true. I think that's the beauty of it. Gamers, listen. Use Squid as your example on, on how to move on, you know? Like, sometimes people are better off. Uh, sometimes people are stupid. And they won't, you know, they won't see see what's so great you know or maybe better as friends too so if, if you got a, a a valorant duo that you're like i would love to share skins on guns with you for the rest of my life um consider things <laughs> how do we get how to get over an e-girl just complacent to me crying and there's no there's no there's no real conclusion on how to get over it you know there's like many 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 <laughs> many experiences but not many answers i would think this is a great movie over a gay ginger i'd love to tap script the direct directing right you know the the hit the hit horror movie friended or something we make a new one called friend zoned you know uh, from the Discord experience. Not a Discord, not sure if it'd be a horror movie. Unless we have an extra added twist where uh, the they like come and try and kill me. I'm not sure. I'd also love to star in it. Um, Jade, you need the slash the tone indicator from you squid slash J. You put two indicators in the message and now I don't know which one it is. <laughs> which one do I use? Need a rebound. Hey, hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> Everyone's so quirky. So many quirky gamers, am I right? Clever Bessie. Me too. I love Squid so much. Even though you guys make fun of me all the time for being stupid. Um, but, yeah. Squid's doing fine, guys, okay? <laughs> Get the message. Wasn't for you. I'm sorry, I read everything that's in chat. Fuck, man. <laughs> Listen, listen, Squid sacrificed me in a game yesterday, which also helped helped the healing process. I'm like drowning in women. So true. Listen, uh when I'm when I turn into Pitbull next week, I'll be I'll I'll I'm gonna be so worldwide. Everywhere. So many of them, it's insane. This is like a pro squid anti-jade chat now. I, I think ever since it came out, it's been anti-jade pro squid chat <laughs> in both fucking communities. How to make Jade jealous? <laughs> so it's like, how do I? I don't know. You know, it's super interesting. Actually, no, I have. I am sometimes a jealous person. I don't get FOMO. I'm not easily made jealous though. I have been in the past. I'm not gonna say that I've never been jealous in my life, but I've definitely. It's difficult. One, I think. Okay, it has to do with. It depends on how it's done, you know? Like, if it's if it's fully in my head, I'll get je jealous. Like, like I can get jealous if like, oh no, I see my friends hanging out and I wish I was there. Like, I'll feel a little bit of FOMO, but I get over it pretty quickly. Um, but if it's someone trying to make me jealous, I'm instant, I instantly go in bad bitch mode and I'm like, hmm, 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 ooh, ah, eat, you know? Get your free Epic Games, yeah, decent ones, Prime Gaming, if you have it. <gasps> I don't have it. Also, Squid, since you're here, I wanna, I wanna, 
think I'm gonna do really long gaming days on weekends, but I wanna start playing Raft soon. I wanna get some gamers in and play some Raft. Set up a little consistent Raft gaming gamers. Guys, Mean Squid playing more games. <laughs> I'm down for Raft, yes, and uh, we have to finish the other game as well. Kane, okay, what's up, Kane? Welcome to chat. And Cedar, hello, Cedar, how are you? You ejected me live was the funniest thing to ever happen to me. We gotta finish it takes two, we really fucking do. I need to somehow, like, Liz, Liz, thank you for the follow. Hello, hi, Liz, welcome to chat. Hope you're having a great day. Tell me a little bit about yourself if you'd like to. I hope it takes two ends with divorce. That would really, like, put a whole ribbon and bow on the whole, <laughs> on the whole story arc. I'm gonna be friends. I cannot. It is parasocial. My day's good. I'm glad it's good. I'm glad it's good. Hey, mine's okay. Mine's doing pretty okay. Oh my goodness. But um, you all should play Who's Your Daddy. I've played so much Who's Your Daddy in the past. I've played so much of it. Also, my nose is like so itchy. I think it's allergies. I hope we get a choice. You get to pick to stay together. And I'll break your heart. Squid is like payback. I need it. I saw Squid got rejecting, so I logged in to say it's your loss. Okay, guys, listen. <laughs> this is so fucked up. I need, what I was saying was I need to somehow like redeem myself, you know? It's like hair that's tickling my nose, I think, that I can't see. I need to somehow redeem myself because I feel like even, even my chat, so the way, there's been many arcs, right? It's been, it's been chat hyping me up in Squid's chat and, 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 and hyping up Squid in my chat or making fun of Squid or hyping up Squid in my chat. My chat was like, yeah. And and now and now I have to redeem myself because I don't I don't I don't think a lot of people are happy. <laughs> Their OTP didn't come true, and now they want a refund. They said fuck this bitch. We're pro squid arc right now. I know. I yeah. My my own mods even my entire community. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> Being pro Jade is, um, is internalized toxic behavior. <laughs> it's like, no matter how much she hurts me, I can fix her. I'll never leave her. Can we get a duo Jade Squid merch drop? Do. Oh my god. No, actually, though, like, I don't think I, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't think my community's big enough as is right now to drop merch, but in the future, I already know Squid would say fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. I already know Squid will say fuck yeah, but definitely they're, they're all- I think there's not a big market for duo merch. Besides, as I only know, the Minecraft gamers. Dream, Sapnap, and George. Just released trio merch. And I think a lot of people don't har harness that enough, and me and Squid would definitely in the future make duo merch. That would be so fucking hype. Injected me and all I got is a lousy sticker merch. Dude, it would be like totally. I feel like the merch would be like designed around like the crying, like, um, like the crying, like, face, like, anime face. And it's like when your duo breaks your heart or something. Like, really tapping into that, that community of gamers that keeps losing, losing out. And, and, but there's a twist, you know, coming stronger from that with I'm okay on the sleeve. <laughs> Got rejected, but I'm okay. <laughs> uh, Jade Crime, because she lost good, am I right? Oh my goodness. And Vaylor, Vaylor, hello, hello. I'm pronouncing your name completely wrong though. But no, dude, that's so fucking cool. I used to be pro Jade and I want to be friends, but she said it's parasocial. I can't be friends directly with Chad. I'll hang out with chatters all the time though. All the time. You guys are great. I love hanging out with you guys, but but I, I, I cannot with good mindset say yes to becoming someone's friend that's in chat because I would be lying to you. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Pronounce whose name wrong. They veil for veil for wait. There's merch. There's no merch. There's no merch. I, I have promised chat when I hit 50k because I think around 50k I might um, be able to create um, decent merch because I, I don't want to create not good merch, but one day there will be squid and made of jade merch. Made of squid merch. Or or made of Inca Dink. <laughs> um can't believe you shaved your balls for the rejection. <laughs> they had to get nice and cleaned up, you know? <laughs> squid, keep your head high. Squid, squid will become the poster child for every rejected gamer. And I will become the poster child for every um cold-hearted bitch. <laughs> 
This is how dangerous bear social is gonna form. I'm really sad. Why does my text to speech never work? Ah! This is so sad. I'm so sad. Bit of scams. The mods will redeem it back. JD should hope a constant, uh, competition where viewers can submit possible merch ideas. I would feel bad because I, I would want to make sure. Because I just read it out loud. True. Like in a robot voice. This is how dangerous parasocial relationships can for. Jade doesn't love you. She can't love you. She doesn't know you. She can appreciate you, but she can't love you. This is so true. Andy, you're so smart. <laughs> Can you ban Jade for hurting Squid? I didn't hurt her! Maybe just not- Just temporarily! <laughs> and accidentally! Let <laughs> me fan out the Jade- No! We're not! can get to know me, but she won't! <laughs> Crying. She hurt our Squid. Guys, guys, listen, listen. No harm done. She is one of my best friends. <laughs> squid, see, see! <laughs> I remember talking to Squid about this, and I was like, Squid, what, you know, oh, there's double music. Sorry, guys, if you hear audio twice. I was like, Squid, what if, what if there's backlash? I was nervous. I was like, Squid, what if people actually hate me? What if they don't realize that, you know, what if, what if they'll never like me again, you know? What if they'll see me, and they'll be like, fuck Jade's back, and I'm like, no, guys, please take me back. Take me back. I, I like being here. Chad, don't give a shit. <laughs> don't give a shit. <laughs> Listen, Chad, if you want to laugh with us, laugh with us. I don't know why the music's so sad. Oh, it's ending soon, though, so I'm gonna keep it sad. Jade is the most loving human. <laughs> ah! <laughs> if anything, give her more love. <laughs> One of the funniest jokes ever. I, I did it so nicely! I was such- I was so nice! I was such a good rejector. To be fair, though, the rejection was mostly a revelation. And not really rejection. It was tied in because it was me being like, um, oh, that's how you felt. Versus, um, oh, you know? <laughs> Don't worry, Jade. I do not had you. Thank you, Liz. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Only hate Jade as a joke. <laughs> There's so many straws. There are only so many left. I can only take so much. <laughs> I gave Jade permission to go off and make the jokes. Okay, that was, that was after I found out. Which, I, chat, I, I think we've talked about it on Squid Chat, we haven't talked about it in mine, but there was a lengthy conversation where it finally processed in the shower, which is the only place where you can process information. But, um, I was like, I've just realized for all this time I've been making jokes at your expense and had no idea because I thought it was a bit. And Squid was like, hee hee haha, no, keep making them. It was funny, and I was like, are you sure? Scoot was like, yes. And then we have created the best bit that is on the internet. Name one duo that 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 that's funny, you know? Name one duo that that's close, all right? Uh, it's Lizna. Lizut. Lizut? Lizut. Sorry, Lizut. I was just saying the first part, but I, now I know. Jade be cool, though. I'm, I'm, on a, I'm okay. I'm an okay, okay gamer. And Sladis, welcome to chat. Jade ramped up the rejection number since she's gotten on her hot girl shit on TikTok main. I am like not on my hot girl shit on TikTok main. I am actually thinking about making a new TikTok because TikTok main has been making me say it. Rejection brought us closer. This is so true. Literally, like we've talked about it. If anyone like wants to get through me, they have to go through Squid first. It's it's I am I am as we talked about movies. Um, you know, Ramona and Scott Pilgrim against the world. I am Ramona and I'm like. In order to get to me, you have to get through all of my past rejectioners, and Squid will be the first one. Standing at the front, big shadow looming, great height, you know? And and they'll probably all lose. <laughs> Squid will crack the knuckles and they will probably run, okay? But it helps weed out the pussies, you know? Squid is Jade's evil X minus the expert. <laughs> I can put up a good fight. Squid can. Squid can. That was one thing where I was like, sheesh, you know? The slash P way for piss. Um, <laughs> Squid is like the heart to Barty, Barty, bodyguard, bodyguard. The, 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 the jester to my queen, as, as Zumi once put it. God, I love when you make this joke. 
God, I love it when you say the word Bordy Gord. Bordy Gordy. Listen, I'm not literate. Brain works stupid. You know what I'm saying? Get rejected by Jade. First, you gotta reject. Get rejected by Jade Six Evil. They're like siblings to be friends. It's funny because I have. Um, let me count. Nine. Nine people. Actually, ten. Eleven, actually, sorry. Um, rejected. So. Um, am I on the list? I don't count chat. I don't count chat. I would want to be rejected by Roshi instead of Jade. Damn! <laughs> Why? What's wrong with me? My chat is like pro squid, pro Roshi, and a Jade sometimes, sometimes there. <laughs> Bruh, this is just Twitch chat. True. Um, is that 11 friends rejected or 11 rejections total? Um, most of them are friends, so I would say 11 both ways. Roshi has a cool sword next to the name. Jade doesn't. Skill issue. I have the cute little, little thing. Uh, do you like jokes or do you like fists, squid? I plead the fifth, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, hi Jade, I've been lurking, but this is a fun stream. Just wanted to let you know. Are your days are business usual? Thank you, Johnny D. I, I could not do the stream without everyone who came in to do presentations, though. And squid for, let it, for letting me watch their video on stream. So I, I appreciate you guys for enjoying the stream. I had fun. I was a little anxious. Um, but the mods came in clutch today, and that's the most I can appreciate. But if you guys ever wonder, hmm, I want to be on Jade Presents, what, Jade Chat Presents one day. Well, you can get all the information in the Discord. Um, I try to let you guys know in advance to prepare, but if you're not here, it's okay. Um, I work around it. <laughs> but yeah, always happy to improvise. Dude, my mods are the best at improvisation. You guys are great. And so is Hunter. Hunter, Hunter the OG. Uh, who peed on the floor at Dairy Queen? I had Dairy Queen once and probably shat the most I ever have in my life. Um, so basically what happened was, I'm not a fast food person, guys, if you might realize. I prefer to eat things that don't have a lot of chemicals in them. Um, but I was brought to my very own first Dairy Queen and I got a burger. And I don't know what else I got, I think it was just a burger. Um, and I went back to the dorms, because this was like my second year of college. Um, out of the three and I the, it was a boys dorm they had absolutely no toilet paper left um and they were like oh you can just use a little whatever and I was like I'm gonna go all the way to the first floor use the public bathroom because I have a fear an innate fear of shitting other it I'm not not like listen people might have been scared about pooping in school I never had that fear. I have a fear of pooping in people's homes. I could piss. Pissing's fine. I cannot poop in other people's homes. It stresses me out. I'm worried about what I'll leave behind. Nothing bad any ever, but like I can't have that possibility. Um, so on many occasions, if I was at a friend's place, I would in fact go all the way back to my dorm, take a shit, and go back. Even if it's a normal shit. Completely normal, but I, I, it's scary. Does anyone else relate? Any, any, yes streamer, you're so valid for that. Any of those? It's not chemicals that make the food just bad. It's the grease, yeah, it's the grease and soy and everything else. Piss pillow story? I said I'll do piss pillow story at a certain amount of gifted, maybe. <laughs> nice steps on me on Twitter. Let's tell you start dominance though. I, I assert dominance by clogging their toilet. I never clog toilets. Uh, it's just, I was always at men's dorms. And they, I, they do not have the facilities that I would want sometimes, you know? Ever thought that whenever you poop, you're connected to thousands of people? I, God damn it, not this shit again. No, I do not think about that ever. Ever. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Human cyborg centipede. It's like that one movie, Human Centipede. All the shit is connected. You gotta go to people's houses and poop with the door open. Alpha move. I only feel comfortable pooping in my own home. 
And that's that's the truth. It is so hot in here, as you guys know. So ignore me. <laughs> no, but dead ass, like I would the way I'd prepare, I would like if I felt like it was gonna be a bad one, you know, like I ate something funky, I had to go. I had to go home. I couldn't do it there. There's anxiety, like first, what if they judge me for how long I'm in the bathroom? You know? Second, what if what if it's what if I smell? Third, I can't risk them hearing anything. What if I what if I'm what if I'm what if it's allowed Oh god. Slapo! Thank you for the raid! I appreciate it! Welcome in! Raid! Hello! Ballabish! Hello! Welcome in! Welcome in! Hope you had a great stream! Was not talking about shit. Um... Peace until Sasana to Rose just up with me. Bye, Sasana! Have a good rest of your day. I can't even poop my own house with the door open? I- I, I don't mind in my house. I don't care. I keep that door open. Keep it. Open. Everyone will know. I've been farting until now. Y'all ain't seen shit yet. True. Wait, there's a subathon? Um... <laughs> I, I just have some chatters mentioning it because I I'll, I'm gonna do one. It's gonna be capped, obviously though, but I will do, be doing one for my birthday as I always do because it's fun. Um, but yeah, don't don't worry about the subathon. It won't be for a while. I gotta plan stuff. I'll cap subathon. I can't really do uncapped until I have my own apartment, and even then I don't think I'll be able to do it unless I don't have a job <laughs> and I'm like full time. You know? How old? Guess. Yes, 42, exactly, yes, this is the truth. 49, you're getting closer. You're definitely close. Um, but not quite. Just stream work, they won't mind. Um, I don't want to stream work. <laughs> Free content. When are we picking the birthday sacrifice or giving them time to tell their loved ones goodbye? That's a great question, Snappy. Thank you for bringing that up, I almost forgot. Um, we are still in the process of picking the birthday sacrifice. Um, unfortunately, they're a bit more resistant than we hoped. I'm really hoping to contact everyone to make sure this can, you know, proceed as usual because I do require, um, the blood of, um, gamers to stay young because I am 345 and I look so young that I need fresh gamer blood every year for my birthday. So, yes. Can we sacrifice the dude that isn't showing up until the summer? <laughs> Listen, oh my goodness. We'll see. The mods will take care of it. Don't worry. Thank you, mods. Thank you. But cool, because I think I have to get my mom's permission if I get selected first. Oh, yeah. Understood. Understood. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting serious. I say we get this guy. Oh, my fuck. Just say the V word. Stop. I didn't want to, cat. Stop calling me out. I got nervous. I just said gamer. Okay? It's literally the same thing. Gamer, virgin, they're both the same. Um, is it a versatile race or just standard meat sack? It's a mix of both. If you're a gamer, you're probably the other thing as well. Let's be fucking real, all right? Don't, don't hype yourself up. I don't care if you say, oh, I have a girlfriend, I have a boyfriend. No, you don't. Stop lying. The internet's teaching you how to gaslight, which I'm not even sure how you figured out in the first place. I need emotes. Now, I need disco emotes. Listen, I like how 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 aggressive you are. You you're like a you're a you're a headstrong chatter, and I like that. You're gaming your signal, sig sig single. Yes, this is true. Because every Discord kitten and waifu, um, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. <laughs> and that's mumbo number five. Um, thank you. I can change this. <laughs> hey, back off from my wife! <laughs> That's my wife you're talking to. Gamers get pussies nowadays, too. Uh, if you see one more oh my girl, fluffy gamer be up, I will commit fucking crimes. No, no, they don't exist. It is literally all propaganda. This is all TikTok propaganda. They don't actually exist. It is to make the gamers feel bad about themselves and push them further into um, being involuntarily bergen um don't forget the question to mark a calendar game we're so true november 29th uh discord kittens harbor no good will from the gods no good sacrifice i saw a chance and i took it it is okay november 17th everyone's gonna take a piss okay yes that too we all have to take a piss at that time exactly gaslighting isn't it real y'all are just crazy <laughs> my god guys let let, let off on roshi okay 
Let them live. They just they just want to lurk in peace. Let them lurk in peace. Oh my goodness. It's just me. This is true. I'm sure Pay's gay cousin or brother or whoever he was. I think he was a cousin, wasn't he? A cousin? Just the cousin. Cousin zoned? Listen, Roshi posted a pic today. It had me on my knees. Yes. Slash respectful. Bro, take a lap. Hamza, you're so funny. <laughs> I, I, I say respectfully we can res appreciate women in the, all the beautiful forms they come in. I'll run laps into the subathon audios. Oh my goodness. All right, gamers. I, I think we had a, we had a, we had a, we had a good run. We had a good run. Um, I, I was a bit, a bit, uh, sleepy today. Had a lot of anxiety before stream, but I think I had a really good time. Donald Trump! Um, welcome in. How you doing? Uh, how are the wife and kids? Um, hope you're fine. Um, welcome. We're about to actually do a raid, Donald. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with those, though. So, um, uh, who are we gonna raid? I think, uh, let's see. I'm thinking, uh, what is more respectful than being on your <laughs> knees for someone? That's true, that's true. Crown, I don't know who Crown is. I see Eretz live, Greasy Nick. I've raided Nick a lot. I'll probably, Nick's doing pretty good for himself right now. Zoomy, is Zoomy live? Zoomy's not live though. Crown for Zoomy. Oh, is Zoomy on Crown right now? I, what is Crown? I'm gonna look up Crown. Oh, Crown is live. Is Zoomy on it right now? I wanna, uh, hosted by Blizzbear. They will be? I thought they already on, were on it last week. How does that work? Oh wait, are they showing all of them? Bear, I'm an alpha male. Hey Blizz. It's your friend Scootish. I got in the show, Blizz. But let me see that lovely face. Shitty <laughs> weird. Oh wait, are we about to see? I wanna see if we're about to see. Wait. How do I I wanna show it? But I can't really show my screen. All right. Are they about to show Zoomy? I want to see. Did you just laugh at Wait, was there no more than one episode? I don't know. So future, oh, I see Zoomy. Okay, we're gonna raid Crown. Go support Zoomy. They're on the show. Really big. Okay, make sure if you can stick around to vote for them, um, and all that jazz. But yeah, I'm gonna be live actually tomorrow. I'm gonna be going to a Minecraft prom. If you guys want to hang out, I know it's a bit off schedule one, so. Um, it's gonna be kind of just a chill stream. Not sure how long it'll be, but yeah. It'll be however long I want the stream to be. I was gonna make a presentation about Stuart Literal sequel. Where <laughs> all the orphans to get picked over the fucking rat. Curb stop Stuart. A little revenge. I realized it was too res resentful. Oh my goodness. Eat dick. Fuck y'all. What is happening? Oh, I understand. Adios, dude. Adios, thank you guys for having a fun time with me. I, I, had, I had a lot of good fun. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye 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 bye. Be sure to join the discord if you want information on any events that we do in the future and stuff. But yeah, bye guys. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Go support them. Boop. Hello VOD viewers. Thanks for watching.